if you think of a leaf falling from the tree, we might think, oh, look at all that waste, all those leaves falling down from the tree. But if you really were to look at all the leaves on the ground, you would see that there was lots of activity going on in the ground where all the organisms are taking all those leaves and returning them back into the soil to go back into the system. We've become very blasé about just moving through resources. We've been making products for 140 years. And at a certain point, you start making more waste than real product. We know that we can't continue how we are. Imagine if we could just start looking at every material resource that comes through our life and say, this is really valuable. We'd have a very different attitude, I think, to how we can take the, the resources around us and use them in a new way. At Kohler, we are going to try, as a company, to be net zero in terms of greenhouse gas emissions and solid waste going to landfills by the year 2035. Waste is only waste because we've defined it that way. It's something that we haven't figured out what to do with yet. And so the waste lab, as a very visible first expression of that, is really important to us. The waste lab is really a group of people that have gotten together to create something new, something more valuable, something really exciting for the marketplace, rather than taking these things and putting them in landfills. Every person on the team is in this because they really care from their heart about the subject artists, engineers. You're tasked with making something out of something else, and we don't know what it is yet. Cool, you know, like that's really cool. It was a little daunting, it's a little scary, but we can make whatever we want. Uh, we just have to find a way to get there. We'll soak it, we'll bake it, we'll try to light it on fire. <laughs> you know, we, we get to play with it. I see everything as potential. I'm always looking and looking and looking. There is no expectation that you're going to get a winner. Each time, it's just about that little tiny kernel that you could pick up along the way. The Waste Lab is currently looking at green cull from our pottery. And then another material we're looking at is foundry dust and that is material that we collect in our dust collectors um, to get out of the air. Imagine this, dust, it's going to the landfill. You say, yeah, that sounds about right. But no, dust, we could make this amazing tile. It's really nice talking to the employees that work here and telling them what you're doing. You know, why are you mixing up that batch of dirt with that other batch of dirt? And you're like, because it's gonna be a tile. Really? You know, like, I don't see that. And then when you actually show the people what you're making, they ask immediately, when can I get it? When can I put it in my kitchen? At Ann Sachs, we're constantly looking to bring to market innovative products, whether it's a material that's never been used before for tile or a new technique. And so the Waste Lab product fits really beautifully into that initiative. People care about the world around them and the impact that they have. This is a product that they could feel good about purchasing and it's beautiful. They don't have to compromise. To go from a successful 140-year-old company that's done things the way we've done them and now to have to change is a big ask. It's ultimately up to the people who work here to make it happen. The people that are involved in this work know that this is the way forward. And even if you make mistakes or you realize something different, that's the only way you're gonna move forward in the long run. There's always an idea coming up. There's always the potential for something new. Now what could you do with your plastic scraps or your glaze over spray or your pallets? One of my biggest hopes is that in 10 years, there is no waste lab. I would love to influence the way people think about how they do business.
Many of us are parents, and if we're not parents, we still have a lot of young people in our lives. When we look at them in 50 years, they can say to us, you did a good job. I do think we can change the world, but together. It's not just one team, it's millions of teams, it's millions of individuals, and we're part of this bigger revolution network. Imagine in the future that the word waste didn't exist. That, I think, would be pretty cool.